meals, cooking for your family shouldn't be time consuming and hard work. This recipe, hearty Tuscan soup with Parmesan croutons, is an easy weeknight meal. Let's get started. So in my crock pot, I have two links of Italian turkey sausage that are cooking. Now I need some chopped onions. chopper to chop these up. This meal is also very economical. The whole thing costs less than $15. So it's not really quick and easy, it's affordable. This is a great tool if you've had a bad day. Get all your frustrations out. If you're mad at, you're mad at the kids, mad at the workplace. Right. I'll set that aside. And now I'm going to peel one sweet potato. This peeler that I'm using is our serrated peeler. You'll see it has a little serrated teeth, which makes it very easy to do. I also like to use this on kiwis and peaches. Okay, now we're just going to cut this in cubes, small chunks. And we need four cloves of garlic. So I'll just press these right in my little prep bowl. Oops. Okay. Love fresh garlic. Nothing is better than onions and garlic. We put that in almost everything. Now we're going to add all of this to our cooking Italian sausage. Okay. I'm using the back part of my knife so that I'm not dulling my knife blade at all. Get that cooking. Now, the garlic. Now we're going to get started on the pinto beans. This recipe calls for two cans of pinto beans rinsed and drained. So I have them rinsed and drained in this little colander, and I'm just going to put half in the manual food processor. And just puree them. One tablespoon of our rosemary herb seasoning. The pinto beans that 
that we pureed in our manual food processor. Plus the additional can of drained pinto beans. And finally, four cups of chicken stock. simmer together for roughly 10 to 15 minutes or until the sweet potato is at the consistency that you like. So we'll just mix this all together and put the lid on top and let it finish cooking. Okay, it's been about 10 minutes and it's now time to add a small bag of spinach. We're just going to add the spinach to the top of this. I'm going to put the lid on and let it wilt down for another two to three minutes. Okay, now we're ready for the final step. We need to add a little salt and pepper. And some fresh black, ground black pepper some Melba Rounds. These are actually our croutons. We'll place these on the top. I've got the boiler set on high. And then I'm going to add some Italian blend cheese to all the little croutons and set it under the boiler until they're nice and bubbly and golden brown. This looks so great, and it smells even better. I can smell the garlic, I can smell the Italian sausage, the onions. All right, there we go. My oven mitts on. Let me get ready, and in the oven it goes. Just take a minute or two until the cheese is nice and golden brown. Okay, I think it's ready. Let's check. Oh yes, it's beautiful. Melted, toasted, golden brown, still nice and bubbly. It looks delicious and smells delicious. Let me get my ladle. And let's see how this is. Dig down and get all this goodness on the bottom. And there we have another easy weeknight meal. Happy cooking! These are all the products that were used to make the recipe today. If you see anything that you would like in your kitchen, please check out my website, where you can place an order, find other recipes, or even join my team.